how do I use Threadlocker? In competition robotics, you'll often find that screws will loosen themselves due to general gameplay, impacts, or vibrations. This can usually be solved by using a nylock nut as the female threaded portion of your connection. That isn't always possible though. Sometimes you have a tapped plate where the threads are already in the part and you can't use a nylock nut. In that case, we recommend using a form of thread locker to keep the fasteners in. Thread locker is a chemical compound that retains the screw and sort of glues it into the threads to prevent it from vibrating out. Thread locker comes in a variety of different types. The dropper bottle style here is one of the more common ones. This one is branded Vibratite, and it's the medium strength, which is usually denoted by blue. To apply this, simply take your fastener and put a couple drops on the air of the threads where they'll be going into the threaded hole. While it's still wet, you wanna thread the nut or the tapped hole onto the bolt and let it sit. This will cure after amount of time and hold that in with medium strength, which means it shouldn't vibrate out, but you should be easily able to remove it with hand tools. If there's medium strength, there's of course high strength. This is usually denoted by red, and then same application method, a couple drops on the threads, and then you install the nut. Once this cures, it won't vibrate loose, but it may also require heat to remove the fastener. The heat will break down the Loctite and allow it to be unthreaded. The third kind I have here is sort of like a glue stick. This one is from Loctite, and again, it's blue for medium strength, but it's not a gel, it's sort of a paste, and you can apply it like that, and it won't drip or run everywhere. You can then install the nut, and that will cure and create a threaded connection that won't vibrate loose. The last kind of thread locker we have is VC3 from Vibratite. This is sort of a gel that you brush on, and once you brush it on, you let it cure outside of your threaded hole and then install it after it's dried. This one takes about 10 to 30 minutes to cure before you can use it, or you can wait even longer if you want. So these aren't the only thread lockers that are available. There are different brands, different strengths, Read the uh, manufacturer's instructions for specifics for your fasteners in your application. There are also some that aren't bottled. We sell these thread patch, as we call them, screws that have a nylon patch applied directly to the threads. This is pretty similar to the VC3, but we've done it for you and they're ready to use out of the box. These do have a cycle count associated with them, so you don't want to reuse these indefinitely. You'll see the yellow start to wear away after a couple of uses. At that point, new thread locker should be applied or a new screw with a patch on it should be sourced. The last two thread lockers we discussed are best when used near or with polycarbonate or other plastics. Most liquid thread lockers will react poorly with plastics commonly found in FRC, such as polycarbonate. They can cause them to become brittle and crack without notice. When using thread lockers near plastic, we recommend being very careful to not drip the thread locker on the plastic, or if possible, to use pre-applied thread lockers, such as the nylon patch screws we offer, or the VC3 after it has dried for at least 30 minutes. And that's how you use thread locker. <laughs>